Okay guys, this is the second part of my charity shop haul. So in the first video, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below in the description box. The first video I wanted to show you all the books that I'd picked up in the charity shops. And in this video, I thought I'd show you the more random bits and bobs and pieces for crafty projects that I also picked up in the charity shops. Again, a charity shop for those of you in the um, over in America and that is what I suppose you would refer to as a thrift store. So first of all, I picked up this super fun pom-pom yard. Um, it was a pound, so you know, it wasn't the cheapest, but I love these colors. I love the pom-poms on them and the kind of um, eyelash trim. Um, it's big pin knitting, ideal for scarves. I don't know, 35 meters. Um, but yeah, so I picked this up. I thought this would be super fun in so many types of journals. Then I picked up this little bag of um, buttons. And I loved these. So there's quite a lot in there. There's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Should there not be twelve? But um, this is what they look like up close. And they're metal. So they're real metal. And I was thinking they would look great themselves just sewn onto something. But I can snip the back off. And they will make a lovely embellishment in journals. They'll be great for... Just love that sound they'll be great for mixed media projects um, and all that kind of thing so I think they were like 20p or something I don't know and then I picked up all these postcards they were 10p each some of them are vintage some of them aren't some of them have got writing on the back some of them haven't um, which is fun but I just picked up the ones I thought yep yeah, I'll definitely probably find a use for those things this is um, Pembroke College um, Pembroke College Oxford and this is from uh, 1970 this was written and yet yeah, that's got a enjoy yourself tonight we made 17 pound 10 profit this afternoon that'll buy a tent really um <laughs> but yeah that's got some writing on and we've got this fun one which again, this has writing on the back of it. Um, and I'm not sure when this was because I can't quite read the date, but I thought that was fun. Uh, Egyptian one again to go with my Egyptian journal that um, hopefully I will make soon. Then I've got these ones. Um, again, I'm not quite sure if these are vintage or not, but I picked these up because I thought they might go with... Um, a journal I'm making at the moment. They might go in there, they might not, but I like them. Loved this one. This is another vintage one. Um, but yeah, this is Amsterdam, Holland, but it's just so beautiful. Love this. It's a bit gothic-y. I actually took a photo like this myself and I've used in some of my, um, one of my journals, uh, Lake Windermere, which is beautiful. And this has got writing on the back of it. Um, I really don't know how old this one is. But yeah. This cute one. This looks vintage to me. Uh, Cheddar. River Axe Somerset. It's really nice in that part of the world. I picked up this one. This one. I'm not sure if these are vintage or not. But I'm again, I was thinking of one of the journals I'm making. I uh, picked up this. Uh, Ottery St Mary that always my, reminds me of Mary's Mead St Mary's Mead I've uh, got this one Dear Wesley, having a nice time in New Zealand will something you when we get home see you when we get home so you got that one we got this one again it's just beautiful this would go great in an autumn journal because of all the leaves this one so yeah, I picked up a lot of house ones and that. I got this cute doggy one. I have no idea why, but I just liked it. So, um, and then this fun one, because again, I thought that might be go in my Egyptian journal, as it's Egyptian. So they were 10p each. Then um, at the haberdashery, so this wasn't in a secondhand shop, but it was in the like cutoff spin in the haberdashery. 
I picked up this absolutely massive amount of black lace. I'll get that up so you can see it. We'll just put it down here. Um, it's a massive amount of black lace and it cost me, I think, a couple of pounds. That was it. Um, obviously, I will use this in a lot of projects. And it was a really good bargain, good find. I picked up this necklace because I loved the beads on it. So I'm probably going to take that apart. Um, again, this was really cheap. It was only like, I don't know, 50p or something. Um, and yeah, I just love these beads. Then I picked up three vintage, you can see 1962 in that, vintage um, sewing pattern packets cute is that and I love this these brown ones they're my favorite kind of ones to work with rather than the white and I just oh, let me see that it's in cover I just love these illustrations um so yeah I just thought they were super cute look at that little boy that boy's got pink hair from 1962 that's like really modern <laughs> um I just thought he was adorable is it a boy is it a girl androgynous non-binary doesn't matter it's a cute illustration and i really loved it so yeah and then this one was also really cute so i picked up three to make sure i've got enough sewing pattern paper in my stash <laughs> i only picked up three there were so many great ones there was some from the 80 for like those big puffy bridesmaid dress things uh then i picked up this uh kind of bookmark it's this is textured card um and it's got an envelope in that and i picked this up because again i think it was only like 10p or something and i really want to do a 1920s journal it's very different to my usual style but i love the 20s and i love art deco and stuff so i was thinking about doing that i picked up this piece and again this was about 50p this is someone's hard work even using metallic thread it's all embroidered and it says, this embroidery was designed by Fiona Drake, produced by Akaro to commemorate the millennium year to, um, 2000. But I'm obviously not going to keep it in here. I'm going to take this out and use it in a journal somehow. It is beautiful. Um, and I know how much hard work goes into embroidery in that. So I want to do something nice for that then i got this map it's uh seen better days <laughs> it's even sort of sellotaped and that here i don't know if that's sellotape i think it is um let me try and open it up a little bit it's really hard to do it without ripping it but this is a really old vintage map that i picked up i've got it upside down i love the colors i love how brown and everything it is I love the torn aspect um, and it is Bartholomew's revised half inch contoured maps it's got someone's address on there that had been sent to one shilling and sixpence um, and yeah I just love all of it is this part <clears throat> and that was 50p guys that was it which you know considering it's vintage I picked this up I don't know the exact date, but I think that's a shilling down there. So, you know, it's got to be the 60s. Um, and I love the image on it. And it's a theatre book. But look at the adverts. I mean, while you're in the strong country, drop in on some of the many delightful strong houses you will find there. Make a special point of asking for strong, special pale ale. <laughs> Makes me laugh. Um, this is such a great image. Love it. And some more um, adverts, another beautiful image. And then I love this pink. It looks like a British seaside. And the play was called The Second Honeymoon. And we've got some more adverts. So again, this was only a few pence. And I just thought it's a bit different and it'll be fun in journals. Then I picked up this bag. Can't get it all open it doesn't matter i'm just going to do it like this i picked up this bag full of beads and i think this was one pound 20 
which is just brilliant. Um, there's all sorts. I love these. They're almost like fake mother of pearl wings. They're just brilliant. Then we got, look at how bright and red that is. This great green one. Got loads of these kind of brown ones, but that's fine because I do a lot of journals that are brown. These chunky octagonal ones that you can kind of see through. Um, purple, we've got this cute heart there. There's just so many bits and bobs. This fun one that I absolutely love. Um, got this green and gold heart. I mean, for like £1.20, guys, this was a bargain. And then I noticed it also has some garnet chips in there. Actual garnet, which that would be more than £1.20 if I bought it anyway. So there's lots of browns, lots of fun and golds. And I use a lot of these colours in my journals. The majority of my journals will have browns or purples or greens in them. So... I thought that was brilliant. I couldn't leave that behind. I was actually at the till already ready with all my purchases when I saw this in the glass case there. And I was like, oh, I'll have that. Um, and then I got four of these kind of magazines because, I, you know, they were pretty um, cheap each. They're vintage again. This is 1973. And just some of the images in here, guys. <laughs> just some of the images I mean you've got the black and whites and all the charts and again these are going to make fun pages in journals or for different projects um shawls I mean she's getting ready for the beach look at those fun outfits <laughs> oh my gosh um I mean that's quite a nice jumper actually if it was in black and white <laughs> got some his and hers, Aaron jumpers there. Fun cardies, full outfits. Look at that one. It's for that special day. My mother-in-law, when she was younger, when she was a teenager, actually crocheted a whole dress for herself that was very small like this. Um, I'm not sure you should really be wearing some of these at the beach. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, I'm just saying this might not be the thing to go in the water with. <laughs> That's quite nice though that's actually quite nice so yeah so lots of fun images and again it's vintage it's from 1973 and i always like it if they've got adverts and things in the back because they're always fun this one is from it's uh from october 1968 this has got some great colors in it um let's see if i'm in shot um, and again, it's got some kids. I loved the fact that it had these kind of cushion covers and stuff in it. So it wasn't just clothes in this one. Some really fun images in here. And then this one has like lots of, um, it's got cartoons and also some adverts, which I really love. Um, little fun home advert. So yeah, I got that one. Look at that fun one, the family group. And then this one, does it say when this one is from, oh, 73. So 1973. So it's got like these fun outfits. It's not in the best condition, not like the other ones. But again, look at some of the images in here, guys. Just so bright and fun and, you know. <laughs> they were all so cheap. There was so I love this. Reminds me of um, the spider webs uh, crochet pieces my friends made for me. Um, they were also cheap. They had so many there, and I restricted myself to just the four because realistically, I probably don't even need four either. I probably need two, but I just kept seeing images and going, "Oh, I like that image. Oh, I like that image." I mean, that'd go in an autumn journal and stuff. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Oh, dear me. But yeah, so that one. And then the final one, we have the knitting magazine, Patterns for the Whole Family. This is from Woolworths. Oh, gosh, how many of us here in the UK miss Woolworths? Look, it was originally 13p from Woolworths. I mean, oh, just miss Woolworths. But anyway, this must be the 72. I'm trying to see a date. 1972, this one. 
and again um, it's nice to see some um, PIC in here not just white skin it would be nice to see even more but there we go oh, look at that dress guys just look at it some of this stuff is still fashionable and people would wear it today you know it's not all like jokey outfits although maybe not <laughs> oh just look at it guys and i like this one because it had a lot of um men in here too it's got these great um, bed crochet pieces it has these fun kiddies ones although that mermaid let, let's face it she's frightening she's she's scaring me um <laughs> so it's got the little cute babies in here look at that baby that baby looks like a doll can you see that it's crazy kids so this was a fun one because it had so many different kind of images that boy there Looks like the actor, let me get it up, from the original Charlie but um, Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Looks like Charlie Bucket. I was like, is that Charlie Bucket? And then again, it's got some great adverts in here. Handy screen protects you against burning fat as a splatter shield. Um, copy decks. Look at the toilet rolls with the... That's a pretty wrap. Oh, it's only something I wear while you're at work. Um, I don't understand. But anyway... <laughs> Some great kind of adverts here for things. Some little charts that um, you can use or actually kind of use them as a cross stitch chart. So this was a really fun one. It's probably my favourite out of all of them just because of, I love that image there. To vet, you're more than a pretty face. You're all woman. Oh dear me. <laughs> it was a very different time, guys. But yeah, I just love this one because of everything in it. So realistically, I could have just bought this one, but I ended up buying four. But there we go, guys. So let me know what you think down below about all these. I definitely think this was a great bargain, even though it's not particularly vintage. It's a great bargain. And I love all the images and I've got some great fabric and bits and some great postcards. But yeah, it was quite a good haul, guys. I had a lot of fun. I spent a few hours just traipsing around every charity shop in this little seaside town that's local to me. That's one of my favourite places to go. Not just for the charity shops, but all the other amazing shops that are there. And um, yeah, it was a really lovely day out. So, and I found a little vegan cafe there as well that I didn't have time to go into when we were there but i'm definitely going to go back and try that out so let me know what you think down below guys i think i got some really nice bargains and probably bought more than i needed thank goodness i've um de-stashed a lot of stuff too so i should have room for all of this i try only to buy things that i know i have room for but as you might have seen if you've watched the book video i don't have room for all those books so that could be an issue Anyway, guys, if you like what you've seen, hit that like button and um, thank you for watching. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you are safe and I hope you're able to have some crafty fun. Until next time, guys. Bye for now.